flight attendant is trained to handle anything, from the routine... Check to see that your seatbelt is securely fastened. ...to the terrifying... Open the seatbelt! Get out! And when that happens, training saves lives. They call it boot camp, and we are, I mean, merciless. I'm gonna feel like a huge failure if I do get sent home today. Before any flight attendant takes off, she must be prepared for the possibilities no one likes to think about. Because keeping passengers comfortable is easy. Keeping them safe, that's the hard part. The preparation begins at flight attendant school. In this episode of Flight Attendant School. One out of every three of our students will be removed because they cannot maintain our academic requirements or meet the standards of conduct. I'm afraid we're gonna have to let you go tonight and we'll have to escort you out the building. Denver, Colorado, home to Denver International Airport, one of the top 10 busiest airports in the nation. With service across the United States and Mexico, Frontier Airlines is Denver's second largest carrier. Frontier's headquarters is just a few runway lengths from the airport. I'll check to see that your seatbelt is securely fastened. This is where Frontier trains its flight attendants on how to keep their passengers comfortable and how to save their lives. Frontier operates one of the most intensive training programs in the industry. Six-week programs are held throughout the year, led by flight attendants turned instructors who will drill the trainees in the necessary skills. There's the impact of the aircraft. What happens next? Here at Frontier Center One, we bring in our group of initial flight attendants to teach them customer service and, most importantly, the safety aspects of our flight attendant job. Sweet, sweet. The general public truly doesn't see all the responsibilities and the roles that we as flight attendants have. It's not until an emergency situation comes in that the passenger now looks to the flight attendant. Oh, they will tell us what to do. Guess what? We always win. Straight! Straight! Get back! Get back! We teach our flight attendant students how to defend themselves and their passengers should there be a physical confrontation on the aircraft. We teach them how to evacuate in the water. We teach them how to evacuate on land. We teach them how to deal with a medical emergency. We teach them how to take care of irregular situations that may come about while they're flying. Our program is dedicated to the crew members that lost their lives on September 11th. When emergencies do come up, that's when you see the true safety training and the, and the security training that, are, that the flight attendants have gone through. Because their flight attendants must meet the highest standards in the industry, Frontier has a very thorough recruiting process. We are very selective here at Frontier Airlines for our flight attendants in our open houses. Sometimes we have hundreds up to thousands that will actually come into the initial interviewing process. And based on their appearance, based on their poise, based on their background of service, we're looking for people who really get into working with people. So you gotta find people that really connect with them and really like it. Come with me. Let's go. Out of over 1,000 applicants, a new class of 40 was selected. Today is their first day in the program, and the first order of business is trying on uniforms. Go ahead and feel free to try on whatever you anticipate ordering. My name is Heather, and I'm 24 years old from Greeley, Colorado. I want to be a flight attendant not only because, of course, we all want to fly, but um, I like to help people and serve them. And I've been in healthcare for four and a half years, and so it's something kind of different in serving people. My name's Sharon, and I'm 24 years old. 
In high school, I was kind of, I was kind of a B student. I didn't ever put my all into it. So I'm trying to change that, and so I don't want to half-heartedly go through training. I'm Katrina. I'm 29 years old. I'm originally from Dayton, Ohio. This is like a career change for me. I used to dance professionally, and when I left that, I was like, oh, what am I going to do with my life? And finally, I thought flight attending would be really cool. Most of all, I want to make my parents proud. I went to college for a little while, but I didn't finish, and I know that was a big disappointment for them. So ever since then, I've been trying to do something to, you know, make them proud of me. <laughs> My name is William, and I'm 23. I want to be a flight attendant because I like not having a normal 9 to 5. That's the favorite part about being a flight attendant. You don't have an office, you're not bound by four walls, and you get to travel. And you get to see a lot of different people in different situations, so that's more my kind of job. My name is Annie, and I'm 22 years old. Before this, I was a student at the University of Colorado in Boulder. I love the aviation industry. I've grown up around it. My entire family is involved in it. My mom is pilot for Frontier, and my grandpa was a pilot for Pan Am, and my grandma was a flight attendant for them. So it's just a really comfortable environment for me. My name is Stacy, and I'm 23. If I don't make it through the training, I don't really have a plan B. I think there's a level of stress put on me that I have.